Hi, my name is Beth Sperry and I'm a customer trained for the Commercial Education Group. I will be showing you the daily preparation activities required to bring the COBOS 6000 to an operation mode ready to report out results. These activities include reagent inventory management, required analyzer maintenance, calibration, and QC. The COBOL 6000 analyzer that I will be demonstrating the daily preparation activities on include the C501 module that does our chemistries and ISCs and our E601 module that does our immunoassays. This is a common configuration for our COBOL 6000s. The following demonstration will show an efficient way to accomplish the daily preparation activities for most laboratories. However, these activities are flexible, so they can be customized to fit an individual's laboratory's need and workflow. Currently, this system is in operational mode, running patient samples. Some of the daily preparation activities can be performed while the analyzer is running samples. One example is reagent inventory management. We are able to print a load and unload list, which will tell the air operator exactly what reagents and consumables to load and unload to meet the daily requirements for the lab. To print this report, we're going to go to the system overview screen and select a feature called preventive action. That's going to turn on the purple alarm. The software is going to look at the entire reagent inventory and determine whether or not we have enough reagent to get through a full 24 hour period. So now I'm going to actually print that report. And I will get two reports. One is a load list and the other is the unload list. The benefit to this is now the operator does not have to look at the software at each individual assay to determine whether or not we have enough reagent to get through a full 24 hour period. So now I'm going to take the instrument out of rack reception mode. It will be able to finish all the samples that are on board and then go to standby. I have my reagent load list so I'm now going to go and gather the reagents that need to be placed on the instrument for the day. As you can see, I've gathered my reagents, but before I place them on the instrument, I'm going to do the hands-on maintenance. I'm going to use the software to release the components by putting it into a manual cleaning. So now I'm going to go to the C501 and perform that hands-on maintenance. To perform the hands-on maintenance for the C501 module, we're going to open up the top cover. We're going to clean the sample probe and shield pipe, the reagent probes, the ISC probe, the ISC zipper probe, and the cell rinse mechanism. When I clean the sample probe, I'm going to take an alcohol swab and wipe down, and then I'm going to clean the inside of the shield pipe. I'm then going to clean the reagent probes with an alcohol swab. Same for the ISC probe and the ISC zipper probe. For the cell rinse mechanism, I'm going to release it from its platform and I'm going to wipe it down with gauze soaked in deionized water. And that's the hands-on maintenance for the C501. I'm now going to move on down to the E601 module and perform the hands-on maintenance for that module. We're now down at the E601 module, ready to perform the hands-on maintenance. The components that we are going to clean today are the sample probe, the zipper probes, the reagent probe, and the pre-wash zipper probes. To clean the sample probe, we just need deionized water. We're going to wipe it down with gauze. The zipper probes, reagent probe, and the pre-wash zipper probes are going to be cleaned with alcohol followed by DI water. So we're just going to wipe them down with alcohol followed by the water. So that concludes the hands-on maintenance for the COBOS 6000 analyzer. As you can see, it only takes three to five minutes. 
We've just finished our hands-on maintenance and we're now ready to load our reagents. Before we do that, we're going to do a backup and clear of our patient and QC data. The reagent loading for the C501 module is as easy as taking off the cellophane and then loading it onto the system. Once in the system, the gripper is going to take the cassette in, pierce the caps, and then load it onto the reagent platform. Once the first reagent pack is in, I can take my second cassette and place it into the entry port. Now that we've loaded the reagents on the C501, we're now going to go and load the reagents for the E601. Loading the E601 reagents is easy as taking the pack, opening the lids, and closing them to the first stop position. Lifting up the lid and placing it in any available position. The instrument will automatically register that reagent for you. So now the system is going to automatically locate the reagent pack and register it to the system. So as you can see, when we come back to the system overview screen, our purple alarms are gone, which means that we've given the instrument enough reagent to get through the next 24 hours. The preventive action not only gives us a purple alarm, but it also does what we call a calibration look ahead. So we're going to pull all the calibrations forward and do them now so that we don't have to be interrupted throughout the day with calibration requests. It's as easy as pressing the calibration QC select button, hitting the recommend button, and then printing the load list. In this screen, we can also order our QC. We can select the routine QC button, which is going to order QC on our entire platform for all the packs that we're currently using. And we can also press the standby bottle QC. And this is going to order QC on all those standby bottles that we might have on. And we can also print the QC load list from this screen. I now have my calibration and QC load list. Before I actually load the cows to controls, I'm going to initiate the daily pipe, which is a push button maintenance. A daily pipe is a string of automated maintenances that are done one right after the other. Those items might include photometer check, incubation bath exchange, and an air purge. The daily pipe is very easy to access. We're just going to go to the start condition screen and we're going to select the daily pipe and say OK and then hit the start button. The daily pipe will immediately start processing and I can now go to load the cows and controls. So while the daily pipe is processing, I was able to prepare my cows and controls and place them in the five position rack and place them on this tray. Before they can be processed, I need to do one more automated maintenance called the green rack. The green rack has three detergents loaded onto this rack and it's used to clean the ISC flow path. Once I place this tray onto the system, the instrument's automatically going to process this green rack and then process the cows and controls. When the pipe is completed, it will immediately go into preparation and then operation and ready to receive these racks. So when we go back to the software screen, we'll notice that all the colors are gone, which means this instrument is ready for a continuous operation for the next 24 hours. The goal of this demo is to illustrate the ease of use when preparing the Cobos 6000 for daily operation. As we reviewed, the hands-on maintenance only took three to five minutes, and the push button maintenance allowed me to walk away and focus on other daily preparation activities, all of which leads to great reliability for our customers. I look forward to seeing you in training soon.